Hey, what's up, everybody? You beautiful what people. Up? Vast Difference is back. This podcast is a show yeah. where me and him debate incredibly stupid things back and forth. Whether it's, you know, some uh, fucking, you know, baguettes versus The Simpsons. Or it can be even me and you versus someone else versus time to time. You know what Ooh, I'm talking about? I'm ready for it. Come the, out. Uh, the winner of the fight will only be crowned once you read the results of the poll, which goes up on our 1722 uh, podcast Instagram page. That's and right. by the way, now we're doing polls on the- YouTube. Okay, that's big time. All right, big step in. So make sure you go, you subscribe on your, you know, the YouTube app, your YouTube PlayStation. The polls will be there, and you can vote. Now everyone's involved, exactly. right? So the second polls up. Bigger outreach. Bigger outreach. That's what we need, right? Um, but once that's over, Tyus over here, the mediator, the result uh, speaker, the I guess. In <laughs> the result speaker. Oh, that's true. Know. One and oh, God damn it. Right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, he will read the results to us. Yes. So uh, in case you haven't figured that out by now, you know, this is almost episode 20. We're almost there. Some people may not know by now. But, uh, yeah. Let them know the newbies. And this episode is another one that we like to call wackadoos. That's what we're calling these type of uh, categories. We're doing school activities. You know, the the school interruptions. That's what I call this. I'm taking fire drill and Blake's taking... Show and tell. (coughs) Exactly. If you haven't been in school, if you haven't experienced it, I understand. But someone's experienced it in... I would say in some fashion, if you went to public school, like me and him were homeschooled, but we had a few years where we did go to a school, like publicly, obviously, and we had to do these things. Yes. So it's not a stretch. A few things when it comes to school that I have experienced. So yeah, it's yeah. Now, if you're like history class versus math class. I'm just going to be putting my shoes on to walk out because <laughs> I didn't experience that shit. Yeah, I don't like either one. No, I, yeah, fuck that. So that's why we're doing this, all right? Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about before we get into it? Is there anything else we need to? Uh, I don't think so. You explain that we're homeschooled. Unless school. you just want to get something off your chest. You need to talk? Let's get it out. No? Tyus? You got anything? You got bridges to burn? Shit, are we doing grudges on, uh, gripes on here now? Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why not? Put them on the side. <laughs> I mean... I'll say that I don't think show and tell is a distraction. That's something that you would do in class, right? Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. Fire drill is something completely different. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Oh but, my but God. we'll get to that, that when he gets to his points. I've never had to do a show and tell. Uh, like, cause what is that? You bring something from home and talk about it, right? Yeah. Oh no, but I have done something that was completely more like awkward and what? weird, I guess. So I don't know. We were like in the sixth grade, and we pretty much. You could be whoever you wanted to be, but you had to write, like, a little biography about them. But even if that meant copy and pasting some shit from Wikipedia or whatever, but it was, I guess, a lesson in history or some shit like that. Just a big figurative name or some shit. So you would type your paper out or whatever, and then he'd have you, like, on individual days go into this room by yourself because people would be mad nervous and record it on this, like on this thing or whatever yeah and, and then it would go over the course of a few days that's the worst thing about show and tell is like you never know when you're up mm-hmm. but uh so like you pretty much kind of like have to dress like the person i chose Shawn michaels or whatever okay so, I mean, <laughs> hbk easy yeah. to type about him he just walks in there doing the pose just came <laughs> in there with with a dx shirt on and a world title and called it a day you didn't have an action figure or nothing no like you no have he to, was going like, to street like, fight Shawn like you michaels have to, like, oh, okay. you have to be like yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, it's, hey, and it's so like you, so you had you to stand there in the future. You were short-haired, Shawn Michaels. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> <laughs> you had to stand there pretty much while your recording was playing, while everybody just stood, just like sat there and looked at you while you stood there. So I think that was kind of worse than like having to stand there and talk about it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't understand this, that. This so that okay. it was kind of long, so it's just I'm just reading it off, and they're just I'm standing here with this title, just standing there, just looking around, like yeah, that's me. Like it, it was the weirdest thing ever. See, that's way. Were I'm you in that. character supposed to be Shawn Michaels? I'm confused like, on what exactly was happening. Here. Like no, like you didn't do anything. You just stood there, and you wrote a paper about Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that, and that, you had to read that paper. That you that you read on a recording with a mic with this old ass thing. I don't know, it was 2006, so I don't I don't really know what it was. It was like you hit record and he had like this little mic thing and we had to like record. I've never fucking heard of this. Yeah. yeah. What no, that's the hell? Yeah. Right. Do you know what it was called? Uh, like do they call it like, you know, 
not a special time, or you know. <laughs> I have no oh, idea. Yeah, I don't yeah, know not what special it was, time. Not I don't know school. what it was about. It seems like it was a Halloween thing, but I don't think I don't even think it was for that. I, I know it had some type of classroom purpose. I just can't remember, but I do remember that. If you know in the comments what Tyus is talking about, please hit us up because we will be dying to figure I this fucking thing out. I had a few people that was in that class. With yeah, me. I got. Yeah. Enough. I've never heard of this. In my yeah, life. yeah, yeah. Please, we're, we're probably bad judges on this, but still, I've never heard. <laughs> yes. talk about it. But show and tell still just to me. I just feel like okay. All right, so I'm gonna jump into show and tell. Like we'll just. Talk about it. I guess you guys would have preferred book fair. That's not a distraction either. For me, it is because I never afforded nothing. Right, I couldn't go in there. They mean, wouldn't allow me. I really well, didn't I mean, even see fire drill like, as a distraction. But we'll get into all this. That in was a always like a part of a class <laughs> for me. Like it was always like a time where they just took it for us. Okay, so, so, I guess, yeah. so like I said, it's kind of like a distraction. Let's let's say let me put this out there. Okay, I only went through public school from kindergarten to fifth grade. Or fourth grade. That's long actually. enough to have a book fair right. experience, though. So. so that's what I was saying. But in that time, when I when the book fair would come around, I was not even allowed to go in there if I didn't even have money. So being a kid, you're seeing all these kids with their 5, their 10s, their 20s. They're coming with stacks of books, erasers and shit. And I'm sitting there eating a you know, brown paper bag yeah. with nothing from the book fair. I had to stay in the time, class. Like... What's wrong with this? Yeah, have like a time where, like, I guess I don't know. Like it was the same thing as I was telling you about the music class. We had a, just a time where, like, it was like a library class too, bro. I don't know why, but we would just be in there bullshitting in the library for like an hour or so. And if the book fair was there, then you would just fuck off in there. I stole most of the shit that punk rock. Oh, man, I was such a goody too, bitch. We had we had so many. <laughs> we had so we had a big ass library. So I'd be like, oh, this is a pretty cool race. Let me just uh, let me snag one. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I got this book in my hand. Let me put that back real fast before I go buy this. Five finger discount. <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously we're not talking about book fair. Uh, fire drill. Yeah, we got to stick to the poll. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> People sorry. have already voted. Yeah. Uh, so you start so, off with show and tell. All right, with show and tell, first of all, I'm starting to wonder if show and tell is a northern thing. Because he no. said he never did it. Levy said she's never done it. Yep. Okay, so... Maybe they don't do it in the South? I mean... No, for, it's been in movies and for, shit. For, I don't know, the way my elementary school was set up, it was just different. Like, we were kind of all learning the same things, but when it came down to doing shit like that, it was all dependent on the teachers, so maybe... Well, I'm talking, like, that. just to say, like, show and tell is, like, kindergarten, first grade. We're not talking, like, sixth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're not, like, fucking 12. weird if you're bringing... You're like, honestly, well, honestly, didn't, I don't understand it then. The, okay, why, why okay. We, like, I, 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 let, I know. Let, let me say this. I have the perfect, perfect story for this on why I fucking hate show and tell, okay? Okay, let's hear it. In first grade, we moved down here to the south, okay? Mm -hmm. Or not even to the south. It was uh, partial, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. To Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, to Tennessee. And so in that class... There was this kid that was like, oh, show and tells next week, show and tells next week. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, like, I already had my shit, Benton Toy, as you fucking know, come uh -huh. on. And so, you know what this kid, kid came in with? A Snuggies bear and a bottle of detergent. Oh. I swear to God, on oh, my poor life. Poor child. Okay? He came in with a fucking gallon of detergent and a Snuggie bear, and he's like, me and my brother leave, love to play with these. And him and his brother are in the class, and they're like naming him <laughs> stuff, oh, and they're like doing it. all that. And the teacher's like, good, good. Class, what do you think of Ernesto's, I don't know his name, what do you think of Ernesto's bear? And everyone's supposed to be like, oh, I love it. But everyone at that time was like, it's a bear. <laughs> Like, yeah, everyone was like, it's like, stupid. It came with exactly. the target. Yeah. That's why I'm just like, it's... I Like, I see what you're saying, okay? We can pick it apart if yeah. we want. That's fine. I'll pick, I'm I'll, picking both apart, to be honest. I'll defend it. But I'm going to say this, just to settle this. I think the point of show and tell, really, is... Expression. It, it's Public getting speaking. the kids out. Like, it's, it's getting but, them out of their shells. They bring in something, and they know they're more likely to talk so by like showing. A, so it's like an icebreaker. So right. It's like a, shit that you would do on, like, the first week or second week of school. There was it's also like a learning activity. To, everyone gets to know each other, see who's got shit in common. It's that kind of thing. Okay. No one did with me, because I had another kid in there. You know, sorry. I'm like, actually, you know what? Sorry, Sarah. I, I, yeah, but, but you don't want to show up to show and tell with the saying, same shit no, no, as somebody no, no. else. I'm saying, this girl showed up with a blankie. Maybe that's what she loves. <laughs> but I'm saying, a show and tell, though, you're you're coming in there, people got the fucking, like, even a Snuggie Bear, like, that's unique at least, I gotta give Ernesto that. But, like, she's coming in with just a blankie, just blue. 
That's her happy part. And then, like, everyone, but that's the thing. Everyone started. She wants to show it but off. But everyone started dogging on her. Well, like, you, you know, when she brought a blanket. I guess it's the risk you take. That's, yeah, okay. It's, it's a, it's a, she's it's a that's what I'm saying. Game, you know? That's why I don't like show and tell. You're, you're forcing these kids to put themselves out there when they didn't ask to. So, really, you're taking advantage of them. And you're forcing them to talk to people. You're forcing them to relieve or tell the other kids something about themselves that you know they're going to get made fun of. My mom will let me do it anyways if, it, if, if it's kind of going oh my first God. Because she would just be like, I know you're probably not, it's probably not going to make it back to the house. Like, that's a see that yeah that's a good that's point a, yeah I can see that good parenting but right it's there. shit that you care about like you're bringing it to exactly. school to be like hey yeah. look at this bitch yo Ricky so you're holding on to that yeah though. you're bringing it back home <laughs> Ricky I got a cool eraser and then like <laughs> you know but no um, one wants to steal that so I just remembered right now that when I went to seventh grade also in Tennessee when we first moved here okay shows the age difference right um. They also did show and tell when I started that school the first week. And I don't know if I even brought anything, more than likely not. I, have I, my I am not a participant here. I am all. a diabetic. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm <laughs> yeah. surprised that you're defending that because I'm just like, for you to have to stand there and publicly speak about something, I mean, if you're, if we have to get what well, we're doing this now, then it's different. But back then, you know what I'm saying? Just be like, this is. This is hey, this, is the, no, this is the No Effects album. <laughs> Imagine this means a lot to Blake. me. I listen to the track from here every single day. <laughs> Blake, thirteen <laughs> years old. This is a guitar magazine. Okay, Tony Sly is the coolest. I don't, you know, like that would have been you. I already know that. Yeah. So to think of you in show and tell is just crazy. <laughs> right. But I'm glad you took it more than I know I'll win. I probably had a seizure and was exiled the class anyway. <laughs> yeah. So he got eliminated. That from was like school. the height of my seizures when I was in. That. He. I remember you got. Got kicked out of school for too many seizures. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, we can't educate him yeah. because he just stares at us. Yeah. Like, shit. Somber episode. Right, well, this isn't about, you know, me and my flaws. So let's <laughs> move on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Seventh grade, though. <laughs> I, exactly. I don't remember if I showed anything or not. You, but did you I, tell? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Probably not. I was probably like, oh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> like, I was quiet as hell. Well, yeah. yeah, and also if it was your first day, you probably didn't want to because you had a flaming blue teal shirt on. <laughs> yeah, mom had me dressed weird, <laughs> and more than likely knowing mom, she's like, "Well, just bring the Bible." Oh my god! So like, I, I probably, probably <laughs> brought it and left it in the locker. Say, I'm gonna get you some points. <laughs> but the teacher only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> bring it into a place where it's not allowed. So the point of this, and almost what you were saying though, there was this white girl in the class who brought out an Usher CD oh. and that was her show and tell and it was the one what was the one that blew up in 2004 with all the hits and was like, it Confessions or was it, it yeah like Let It Burn and all the I, it was Confessions yeah yeah that one the one with his face on it yeah, yeah. Oh, she brought come that on. and Sally she's up there like no one's ever been more in love with Usher I don't <laughs> think is this little girl and like as soon as she sat down like she just got roasted by the entire class for bringing in this Usher CD and it was on the radio every time I was in any car at the time as a young yeah. kid so yeah. I, I don't know like I wouldn't know why I she kept this. her head down for a long time then whipped it around she's like you think I care <laughs> and it went right back down <laughs> you think I care oh <laughs> 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 uh, shit oh god damn it is funny though to think that you, whether it is fire drills or show and tell book fair whatever you want to bring up Roasting is the only thing that's the common denominator through all those. Oh yeah, right. you could be on the floor with your head like this, smoke flying, like, man, you fat as shit. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I'm on the floor. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. I guess it's just what comes with having to be forced to be in a room with people for an hour. That yeah, you, right. That you You're just like be. locked in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same with the bus. <laughs> right. Oh, we should have done that. Show and tell versus the bus. There we go. That would have been a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with show and tell, though, in elementary school, though, mm -hmm. um. I brought one of my street sharks. I don't know. You, are you guys? I've seen, are you familiar? showing me the cartoon? But I don't. Oh, know. Okay. I don't know. You guys might be too young yeah. for that. But they were yeah. like these super buff sharks, and like they like were skateboarding, rollerblading, <laughs> like they did it all. And to me, it was the coolest shit on TV. <laughs> and I had I just got the toy. Was one of them called Finn? I don't remember their names. I'm gonna be honest them. But yeah, we'll go with Finn. <laughs> so I had Finn, and he was hiding in my desk because we had like the lift up deal. Oh, had you had a there. lift up desk? Yeah. <sighs> and I had him in there all day. And uh, it was my moment to shine, and I went up there and like destroyed. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that was my first time killing a crowd. 
<laughs> Blake, 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 you're wrong. Until off the my stage. fat friend, friend Robbie, after mm-hmm. me, showed up with Digimon cards. Oh, he took you. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then he blew me out of the water. Yeah, you're out. It was game over. Yeah, Digimon Especially because out. you know I'm what he did? At Moscow. Let me just say, this elementary school I'm talking about was a private school, a Christian school, uh, okay? Yeah. This little motherfucker, because he lived with his grandparents, he was one of those kind of kids, oh, you know what I'm saying? So money. he didn't live by rules, yeah. okay? He comes in not only with Digimon cards, which were banned at the school, by the way, so yeah. he's already being punk. <laughs> yeah. But he brought in a card where it's like the girl character or whatever, it's like cut off here, but she's like taking a shower, and it was like that character, and he's like, this is my favorite card, <laughs> Cause she's taking a shower. This is my favorite card. She's taking a shower. She's so sexy. And the teacher's like, whoa, whoa, okay, all right. Robbie, thank you. I'm going to call your mom after class. Jesus says go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious. I've never heard that one. God yeah. damn. Did she rock her? Oh, fuck, man. Robbie, speaking of Robbie also, me and him got into an argument one day while at recess because speaking of me wearing a Mick Foley shirt, it was the night of the uh, Mick Foley versus Triple H Hell in a Cell. Mm-hmm. And you know, if Mick Foley oh, yeah. lost, he was leaving. Yeah, he was retiring or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, Triple H is going to win. And I was like, there is no way. Mick Foley's taking out. Are you kidding me? Have you seen his matches? He's crazy. He's <laughs> taking out Triple H. Your dad's son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I stood by him. And the next day at school, it was not a good day for me. <laughs> Loser. How could you believe that shit? Triple H whipped his ass. Like, <laughs> Mick Foley tried. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see him again. <laughs> it's crazy. I had a friend like it too and shit like it. But man, it's weird enough that I see him at almost every wrestling event I go to though. That's really? The, yeah. The only time I really see him. Right here. Damn. I've seen him at SummerSlam out of... Mick every... Foley? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said no. Like, like, you would just casually see him on the street. Like, <laughs> I was like, we haven't talked about this a million times? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, I was like, you know Mick Foley? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but also, let's, you know, let's, let's get into the, let's let's get get into the, the drill, drill. Yeah, right? Fire drills. All right. So, as you know... The school's in the summer, because that's the only when they do fire drills, right? You go outside, school's you come in out. The summer. What are you talking about? They only do fire drills in the summer. No. There's I've not never school done. in the summer. You've never been to school in or, the summer. You know what I mean? I'm not saying summer, but the, the it's, there's no snow, goddammit. There's scheduled fire drills, and yeah. then there's random fire drills that just happened, and that's inside the school, though. See, I never <laughs> had one inside the school. Mine was always oh, a to be part. Fair, school technically does start in the summer now. Yeah, true. Now, when I was a kid, it was fall for me. Yeah, we I have three months of summer. Now they're starting in like August and July and yeah. shit. So yeah, I guess it they is pretty much start on my birthday. So I take back that, but I it, the laugh was worth it. <laughs> so <laughs> mine was in a separate building off the school, right in Hazelwood when I went to school there. Mm-hmm. So you would come out of the the classroom, you would walk down the corridor, then you would see the main door, you would walk out, and then you would walk to the front field you know how like every school has like a a, a huge just land for yeah. no reason it would be on there and there would be a full dude in like you know the fireman get up with the hat the the hose all that shit right the and then there would be the dude on the thing that was just more of like a fire marshal i guess like he didn't have like all that on but he had like a white shirt on the tie the credentials you know and he would be, you know, running us through it and being like, this is how a fire truck works. Uh, this place is going to start going on fire. And you guys are going to, or we're, you guys are going to have to all lay down, put your hands over your heads, lay as flat as you can. There's going to be a, a simulation fire. And she's like, mm-hmm, yeah, listen, listen. And we're all like, uh-huh, sure. And so, like, we get in there and he ain't fucking lying. Like, the whole place starts smoking right and they start smoking (laughs) smoking (laughs) and they start doing like full-on fireman drills like the dudes like yelling like e45 and like all that shit there's a fire there's a fire and they're the woman is in there she's like keep calm keep calm and like kids are like that's what i said about the roast thing because like the other kids that don't want to feel emotion are like Fucking whiny it's bitch. Simulation, but right. all the kids are like, tell my mom and dad I love them. Tell my mom and dad I love them. <laughs> We're going down. We're going down. Uh, and so, like, we would get up, and the I'll dude. You never know what happens on Jimmy Neutron when I get down. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we would get off the thing, like, you know, the guys would pick us up, rescue us, or whatever. And then they would be like, okay, what did you do wrong? 
and <laughs> showing up to school. <laughs> 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 and we would be like, uh, you told us to sit down. And he was like, you didn't move. You should have got out when the fire was coming. And we're like, we followed, and the teacher would be like, we followed your instructions. And he would always say, well, you're already dead. <laughs> oh, man. A <laughs> bunch of first graders. Well, you're already dead. So, you're lost. Like, yeah. So that's why for me, I'm like, fire drills are a lot of fucking funner. You get to go outside. You clearly got an alcoholic teacher. Like, show and tells it's inside. You're dealing with you all, all the just 15 minutes ago. Now your body's decaying. Yeah, that's like that yeah. whole event. My fire drills were 10 times more boring and a whole bunch of shit. We just get far away from the school, chill out there for like 15 minutes, and then go back in. That's it. Oh, man. Yeah. That is, yeah. Fuck that. I can see why no one likes it. Okay. Well, then, I mean, you get out of class for 15 minutes, so ain't nobody mad at that, but yeah. it's just, we don't, we don't have to do... Maybe this. what you're talking about isn't a fire drill, I don't know what the, but... Maybe there was a fire that day. <laughs> yeah, I was not mad, so I was like, you got an actual fire that day. Yeah. Lot of 43 looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that simulation, it was only a drunk driving simulation where they had like these weird ass distorted goggles and they had a strap of on or whatever and then shoot basketballs and try to like run with them bitches what the, on. So you had VR. Basically. <laughs> yeah, you had some dirty ass goggles or whatever and it was like wavy as fuck and they'd be like, alright, we're going to give you three basketballs and shoot. And then you would just, you would think you're doing alright and then the basketball would be all the way over there. And then they like try to run with these. <laughs> Did you go to school with Zach and Cody or something? Yeah. <laughs> like, you the go hell? to the fanciest school <laughs> ever. We got VR. We sit outside <laughs> of the park. They had us doing our no, first I podcast. Like, I, like, <laughs> like, like, I recorded my first album there. <laughs> no, they were actually like drug driving simulator goggles. It wasn't like VR. VR. I don't even fucking know when VR came out, but. Yeah, true. It's about like ten years, twenty years. This is nerdy, but technically, like the '80s was the first foreshadowing. Foreshadowing, though, because I got a DUI later on in life. <laughs> but I never had to shoot basketballs, though. Oh God, damn! Wouldn't that be nice if that was the test? <laughs> like, if you yeah. go to jail or not? <laughs> I'm gonna give you three basketballs. Come on over here. Me sober, I would be I'd in jail for five it. years. <laughs> yeah. Iverson. I'm talking, shit. I'm talking shit the whole time. You ain't, Zerbiak. You ain't gonna stand over here? Alright, bet. You ain't got no D. <laughs> I got all this over here. Got all this over. <laughs> Man, I would have loved to go to your fucking See me over here? Now I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> the VR flies and you're still just playing evil. Man, you can never call the type of shit they'd, they'd have us doing, though. So, I mean, I kind of wish I would have went too. God damn. Yeah, that sounds fun as well. I mean, I guess staying in the school only until the fourth grade, you kind of have your limitations. Can we do a vlog I mean, even if you where you and I go back to school? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Billy Madison type shit? <laughs> yeah. I'll go back to first grade. <laughs> oh my God, it'd be so much fun. <laughs> I feel like a genius. <laughs> this is my Paw Patrol. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, we don't say fuck. Sorry. sorry that was popular that. ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doesn't have shit on Rolly Polio. <laughs> They're like, what's Rolly Polio? Like, you don't know shit. Hold on, I light up a cigarette. I give pull up my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn. Fuck. This is a fun episode. It is. Especially for people that didn't really fuck debate, with school. Though. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. But here's what I've learned is that we all have very, very different experiences with school. You could say we have them that vastly is. different. Oh! <laughs> Make that the thumbnail. Just that my is, face eating it. Okay. That's, that's true, though. Yeah, because yeah. he had just, like, the most LeBron James school ever, right? You were raised by Jesus, and then I was raised by alcoholics and just maniacs, apparently, yeah. <laughs> at, at my school. And we see out of the three of us which one's the most blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, goddamn! I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. See, I honestly don't remember if I did fire drills or not. Here's what I remember. Uh, I remember having to do something on the bus where there was an alarm going off. Okay? Oh, I remember that. And then we would have to jump out the back, back of the bus. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah I remember I that. I was the fattest kid. Yeah. At that time. 370 easy. Yeah. I was the fattest kid in the entire school. Mm -hmm. When I jumped out of there, my ankles fucking shattered. <laughs> like, I was done for the rest of the day. Yeah, I had fucking on, on each side. 
Because they, they literally had teachers on the left and the right side for bigger people whenever we did those. So they could just pretty much just like grab them. For there was no one there for this big guy. I'll tell you. They, uh, Damn. he, uh, you know, Miss you know, Lundell. And he was fucking <laughs> yeah. They were just like, okay, when you go in there, you're going to go out and you're going to jump out, but be careful. Right? So I just go out there and I just leap. I hadn't learned what it's like to be fat yet. <laughs> and I just... I mean, I'm talking like I really thought I was never walking again after that. <laughs> that yeah. looks like a far jump when you're looking down. Yeah, I mean, it's what, crazy. six feet off the ground? Yeah. For, so for then, a 10-year-old? When they had yeah. us do it again, when they, like, in the rest of the school year, when yeah. they had to do it the second time, I sat my ass down and jumped. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> I learned that's the, the fat kid, kid move. Do that too. <laughs> that's the fat kid move. Sit down, get off. <laughs> right. That is the yeah. move for when you're that... Exactly. I don't have to hurt myself to do this. No. And if there was a fire, I'd still be getting out. So, like, and I used to get made fun all the time for like the skinny kids. Like you use your knee to get up, and I'd like I have a limp. Man, I used to <laughs> yeah. see like I used to see some some four people do some crazy stuff. Like I, used to see, I, I see this one new backflip out that bitch. God, man, yeah. he's in Circus Soleil now. Did you go to school with Montez Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Fox Flash is on the back of it. Oh God damn. Has nothing to do with fire drills or show and tell, but goddamn, is it a funny, right. funny story? <laughs> well, the people already voted, so basically yeah, we're just true. having fun fucking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I honestly figured that this episode would just, you know, kind of go through all passages. Right. It's been a fun one. Yeah, so it's been I fun. Don't really, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't care. Fuck a debate sometimes. Yeah. It was a good uh, one. Also, another thing that was cool about fire drill is at least, again, I'm only personal, but it, they would do it always before cafeteria or lunch. So you would do that. You would have a class, do the fire drill, and then you would just go back into so you eating. you immediately know you're having lunch. Yeah. Right? Okay. So the whole time you're out there, you're just like, oh. All right. Well, then I will debate you on this. I'm thing. having a carton. Why the fuck is this man calling it a distraction then? That's like luck. No, That's I'm a saying good day. school distractions, like they're not a part not of. Really. Okay. I mean, maybe distraction is the wrong word. School activities. Because you're talking Whatever. about elementary school I mean, it is where there's not. Yeah. But it's like. But, lucky like, but what I'm saying is it's a distraction from the curriculum. Right, right. right. Like, you're right. not doing the books. You're not in the classroom learning. Right, and I'm saying that's a positive thing. No, I know, but I'm saying they're bo they're still not, like, in the classroom type yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not a part of what you learn and what you don't learn. Because, right. like, let's be honest. I'm no kid absorbed that shit. When you said distraction, shit. it sounds like you're saying it's a bad thing. Oh, no, I didn't so mean it bad. That's why I'm debating oh, no, 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 but no, if, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you didn't mean it that way then it's yeah. like well who gives a fuck then yeah but yeah okay that makes more sense yeah definitely not a distraction are you kidding me like i said you get to go outside and right shit. that's just free time yeah that's the thing we can all agree on i hated the fucking kids during these moments show and tell or whatever and they would still be like oh, i'm not done yet it's oh, like yeah. ernie come the fuck on right. like you've aced everything this week little, you'll little. be okay yeah god damn did you have free time like sleepy time <laughs> well yeah i had that too yeah. but like i thought free time is like just go have fun oh yeah yeah yeah. we did and i would always they had a board game of uh fuck what was it uh pokemon and you would take it out and then it was the guess who mm -hmm. you know so me and kids would just play guess who pokemon all day long oh, for so that free time that and you would be like uh fire right and then the kid would be like nope <laughs> and then you go look and he knocked everything down oh, and you're like you fucking, fucking pussy yeah. like oh my god the amount of fights i got into when the teacher wasn't looking my <laughs> god i'll fuck somebody up oh yeah are you kidding me <laughs> god damn that's the thing is people are like austin's a bully but then once you're looking at me nothing's happening and i only do it to the people that pick on me right you know <laughs> You're a closeted boy. Oh, a closeted boy to the people that pick on me. <laughs> you haven't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never do it to the innocent. But I do remember uh, during show and tell, actually, now that we're talking about this, uh, <laughs> the kid, and I swear to God this is his name, if I could look him up and see his face, I would prove it to you. But his name was Randy Jackson. Oh, uh, okay. 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 Swear to God. And during show and tell, he was like, Psst, Austin, come here, come here. And he still had a few more minutes on uh, the computer time, yeah. you know? And he looked at me and he went, look at this. And he fucking typed in boobies. And me and him fucking laughed our asses off <laughs> for a good five minutes before anyone even came over there to check. And then as soon as the teacher did, I mean, you, you already know what happened there. Right. <laughs> fucking got a whooping, the slap over the wrist, all that shit. So, yeah, no more of that. But goddamn, shout out Randy Jackson, the kid from... Uh, 
Clarksville. Good kid. Great kid. Do you remember any of the names from them? I remember uh, Christopher Baker. And these are all basic names. We were like, there's a million of them. That's yeah. why I don't care about saying them. Uh, I think the Robbie was probably the only one. There was a Jonathan. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think those are probably the only names I remember. Like, they were, like, my only, like, friends, really. Oh, so yeah, that's the only reason why I remember. Uh, there's two <laughs> kids that I don't know. Well, like, okay, let's just say this. They, <laughs> one girl's name, we wrote on the thing, like, the board... And none of us could say it until she said it. But her name was Xavier Anastasia. That was her first name. 16 letters. Xavier Anastasia. And I remember it because, like, who the fuck else would have that, right? right. Never knew her last name. Still don't to this day. But... Smith. <laughs> yeah, probably. Or, like, <laughs> James. Uh, and then there was this other kid, Ryan. And, you know, shout out, Ryan, if you're watching. My God, man. Talk about a poor fucking kid. Uh, poor like, Ryan. dirt poor. Because you know how we have, like, or you had the pull-up. That's why I mentioned, like, oh, you got the pull-up? Mm -hmm. Mine was the cubby underneath the desk. Oh, yeah. Right? And he would just shove and shove and shove his homework and food and all this shit. And so, you know, the spring cleaning time, when the teacher's like, all right, clean out your desk, this motherfucker started bawling his eyes out because he was like, I can't take this homework home. And then she was like, why? And then she, like, pulls out his thing. It was the entire year in his desk he never took home and we found out because like apparently his mom was like this super control freak who was like you have to get a's you have to get like all that shit but they didn't have money to do so so it was just like this terrible fucking thing so shout out ryan if you're still there hopefully you didn't get on meth yeah way to bring the vibe down huh oh, right. sorry sorry fire drills though you stupid bitch <laughs> 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 all right so if Looking back, if you were to do show and tell, yeah, what do you think you would have brought? Because you said you didn't do a show and tell. No, no, you no I said, yeah, that's what okay, I said. So I brought you, Ben Tinto. What would you have brought if that was something that your your teacher would have said, like first grade? I also bought Yu Gi Oh cards once too. Okay. It was the ones that I made Dad buy me and balled on my ass. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of what I was it had for you playing with in 2001. It had to have been like, oh, 2001, so you weren't into wrestling yet, right? I probably was, but, uh, hmm. Shit, not that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. Not to the year after. Hmm. All right. The, the kids that brought Hot Wheels also, like when they would bring like a thing of Hot Wheels and you know that you had to sit through the every single <laughs> I mean, I description of one. Those. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, Same. We had, like, a huge bin. Would have been this is my yellow one. Yeah, this that This is my kid. red one. <laughs> yeah, this one has three tires. I broke it off last week. And they show it to each fucking kid like we give a oh, fuck. Like, this is the first one I got. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> I imagine you being the coolest kid in class. Like, you walk in, everyone's like, Ty, yes, and you just go... They all throw you chocolate milk. Yeah. Like, they're just it's like, every all give him his. Wanting his attention, and yep. Ty's not giving a fuck, so they all love him even more. Nah, same way it is right now. I don't, I didn't say shit to nobody, really. I didn't fuck with too many people that I went to school with. It was always people from other schools I was friends with. Oh, shit. So I never really talked to nobody there. Like, from a, another town? No, just. Ooh, rivalries. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a different school in the area. Yeah. Oh shit, that's kind of fascinating. Actually, Tyus was playing a footloose. See, that's what's cool about this episode is like <laughs> for someone that you know didn't even make it to be even a preteen in public school is like, oh, so this is what like that's what I would have went through if I would have made it to the older years, and then yours is what would have made it if I would have went to the preteen years. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's all. Kind of in one motion. It's kind of pretty cool. True. Yeah. You see and learn a lot on this podcast. Learn shout out podcast. Shout out school. Yeah. Sh uh, shout out school, actually. Yeah. This was an education. Shout right? out teachers. They deserve to get fucking paid more. That's right. That's my stance and I'm keeping to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I stand by it as well. Yeah. Right. Sign still delivered. Uh, Time for I the results. Can, uh, get to those results, huh? You voted in the Instagram. You voted in the YouTubes. Now is time for the us time has come to read our polls to the audience. Um, also, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, 
uh, any platform that you use for your socials, you can find 1722. We even got a Reddit. We even have a Reddit, so go talk shit about us. Do whatever you want on the Reddit. Go Hell just yeah. go ham on us, you know? If you got something to say, let us know. That's what I'm saying. We love you guys. Vast Difference out every Wednesday. 1722 will now be out two Sundays a month, right? Is that what we said, two Sundays a month? Okay. Yeah. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. We got a bunch of new shit on the horizon that we've been working on. We got a lot of super exciting stuff coming up. 2023 <clears throat> is about to be super exciting for these boys. I'm telling you. Yep. That's a fact. And would you look at that, man? Another fucking tie. Ay ay ay. Another tie. On both? Eight to eight. No, it's not on both, but total. Total, yeah. <sighs> damn it. God damn it. Well, just like we did on the last episode, Tyus. That's, this is you gotta share. Yes. So that way we can stop with these draws, huh? Yeah, stop with the just draws. Just do that for us. Because Tyus doesn't like voting. He he's not sitting here the whole time wanting to fucking do you know the the gods work. Well, if I didn't vote, then it wouldn't be a tie right now on the YouTube. I voted on that, so. But I chose fire drill, so yes. that's what's coming down to the So technically, be. that would have won regardless if, without your vote. Is what you're saying, right? Uh, yeah. Woo! Fuck yes. Or no, without your vote, that means I was struggling to show and get tell would have won. Uh, That's fuck. what brought it up to a tie was your vote. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hell fucking yeah. So it's a draw again. But I'm going off my definition of a fire drill as to why I chose it because I don't hey, know what the simulation I'll, thing was about. I'll yeah. take it. You say fire drill. That's what I was going for. So as you know, Austin, the big man at Wally World on Instagram. Uh, won this week yet again. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's a draw. Uh, but Tyus voted fire drill, so it's nine. But he now. voted on the poll fire, fire but, drill. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Now matters because we're on the pod. Him now is what decides it. Crazy thing is, I wasn't going to vote either, <laughs> but I did. Uh, all right, fine. All right, I'll, I guess I'll take a loss. I don't see how this works. But yeah, yeah, okay, time, fine, fine, fine. I'm not gonna vote. There we go. The social Since, media platform. Let, yeah, this one's a draw. We'll leave it at that. But we'll continue this one at a later date. All right, I'm there fine with that. What we should do is like a, uh, oh, like an episode where we do all of the draws and we put them all up for grabs again. Like, do three at a time. But, like, smaller oh, segments. Oh, shit. Yeah. That'd be cool as hell. And then see what the outcome is. Like, knock them out quicker. Yeah. Because we've built up quite a few draws now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be at least, like, four. Five. Right. No, not really. That's an exaggerated number. Thank you for coming. With, With a, a U. U.